Hello, in the previous video we set up the basics for shooting with our weapon, we also added the ability to control our inventory and equip weapons using our code. Now in this video we're gonna create a projectile for our weapon and we're also going to add the shooting impact effects. So to start, I'm going to create a script and name it projectile. So here it is and uh, let's open this script so the first thing we need for our projectile is a float called speed and this one you can change in the inspector and let's create another private variable called damage and also let's create a boolean name it initialized so we need another variable called shooter it is of type character also let's create a rigid body and a collider for our projectile I am going to create the initialize function and I'm going to call it in the awake. So if it is already initialized, then we're gonna return. Otherwise, we're gonna set the initialized to true. By the way, this is gonna be the private initialize. We're gonna create another initialize function and that is gonna be public. And we're gonna call that when we instantiate the projectile. Here, I'm going to check for a rigid body by getting the component. If there is no rigid body on this projectile, then I'm going to add one. So for our rigid body, I'm going to set use gravity to false. You could also set it to true if you want to have that effect on your projectile. And rigid body collision detection mode, I'm going to put it on continuous dynamic. Now we also need a collider. So I'm going to check for a collider by getting the component. And if there is no collider, I'm gonna add a sphere collider. And at the end, I'm gonna set the collider is trigger to false. Now it is time for the public initialize function. It is going to get a character that is gonna be the shooter, a vector three, which is the target, and a float called damage. So first I'm gonna call the private initialize to get the necessary components. And after that, I am going to assign the values of the shooter and damage that we have here. So we're going to save those values and I'm going to make our projectile transform to look at the target. I'm going to say rigid body velocity equals to transform forward multiplied by a speed. Now, just like the awake function, there is a function called on collision enter. So we're going to use that function. So this function is going to be called whenever our projectile collides with another collider. So at the end of the function, we're just going to destroy this projectile when it hits something. And at the start of the function, we're going to check something. We are going to say if, and for the condition, we're going to say if the shooter is not equal to null and collision, which is the collider that we have hit transform.root equals to shooter transform.root. So basically, if the bullet collides with the shooter itself, we want to ignore that collision. To do that, we can simply say physics ignore collision between this collision.collider and our projectile's collider. So that's going to ignore the collision and then we're going to return. Now let's go to the initialize function. And here I am also going to say collider dot tag equals to projectile and here in the on collision enter let's put this inside parenthesis so here we go and i'm going to add an or condition so if our projectile hits another projectile we're also going to ignore the collision so before we forget let's actually go and create that tag here it is inside our unity I'm just going to select any game object and here under the tag, I'm going to add the tag. So let's do that. Here it is. I'm going to add projectile as a new tag. So let's go back to the script. Now let's see if our collision has a character component on it. And if the character is not equals to null, then we're going to do something. For example, we're going to reduce the player's health. Let's actually go to the character and create a function for it. Here, let me collapse some of these functions. I'm going to put it here. I am going to name it apply damage. It will take a shooter, a transform that hit and a float damage. 
so let's go back to the project tile and I'm gonna say character apply damage I'm gonna pass the variables now we also need to create an impact effect so let's go ahead and create a prefab for that I'm gonna create a private transform let's name it default impact so let's go ahead and here in the on collision enter when we are hitting a character we could put an effect here for the character but let's add an else if so in case there was no character and it was just an object we check to see if the default impact is not null then we're gonna say transform impact equals to instantiate and we're gonna instantiate the default impact and for the position of it we're gonna choose collision contacts zero point so that's the first point of contact and for the rotation of our impact we're gonna say collision contacts zero normal but it takes a quaternion so let's say quaternion from two rotation so let's put this inside parentheses and I'm gonna choose the vector three up for the first parameter and let's also close the parentheses for instantiate now let's actually destroy the impact by saying destroy and we're gonna pass the impact dot game object destroy it in 30 seconds let's also destroy the projectile after a while so when we initialize it let's add a destroy and we're just gonna use game object and instead of 30 let's say 5 seconds so after 5 seconds if it doesn't hit anything it's just gonna destroy it now let's go to the weapon script and here I am going to create another variable and name it muzzle it's gonna be the transform and we're gonna instantiate the projectile on this position also let's create a prefab for our projectile so now we could just go to the shoot function and here I am going to instantiate a projectile on the muzzle position and then I'm going to initialize that projectile passing the character target and the damage of the weapon so let's just go and create a projectile for our weapon I'm just going to create a 3d sphere if you take a look it's too big so let's change it to 0.1 that is still not small enough so let me disable this gizmos so let's try 0.01 and let's see how it looks now it's a lot better we already have a sphere collider and inside the script I'm just going to attach a projectile to this and I'm just gonna name this projectile and here in our prefabs I am going to create a folder name it projectiles so let's drag it here and I am going to delete that and now for our weapon here we should have a projectile field which I am going to assign this and also we need a muzzle for our weapon so let's open our weapon prefab and I'm just gonna create an empty game object and name it muzzle and let's assign the muzzle here it is and maybe change the position let's first put this to local and let me reset the position of our weapon this way we could look at our weapon better so that's the muzzle position now let's go back and now if I play this and now I should be able to instantiate projectiles yes they are being instantiated they are moving fast so let's just stop this so for the impact effects I am going to import the unity particle pack and also I'm going to import an additional weapon model you can choose any weapon model you want this one is free and also the particle pack is free it is not URP though so we need to make a few adjustments so I'm gonna go and import these packages so this has some dependencies nope do not mess with the packages and let's import 
So here it is, Unity Technologies Particle Pack. So let's actually go and open our weapon prefab. Here it is. I'm going to create an empty game object. Let's name it Flash. So here in the Particles Pack, here in the Effects Example Weapon Effects, in the prefabs, I have a Muzzle Flash. So let's drag that here. And if I reset the position, you see that I have this muzzle flash. Now I am going to scale it down a little. It's too big. And let's position it somewhere in front of the weapon. Here I think is good. So also let's make sure it is not looping. So I'm going to disable that. I'm also going to disable play on awake. So that's it. We can play it for every shot that we take. Now let's open the weapon script here under the references. I'm going to create a private particle system flash. And here in the shoot function, whenever the flash is not null, I'm just going to play the flash. Now back to the Unity editor. Let's select the weapon and here we can assign the flash. So that's it. If I go back and if I play the game now, you see that I have a muzzle flash. So that's not bad. Let's stop this. By the way, you could choose any visual effect for your muzzle flash. It doesn't have to be this one. So for the impact effect, let's create an empty game object. I'm going to name it a stone impact. So let's reset the position. So here it is. I am going to bring it here. The Y axis, as you can see, is looking at top. So let's just do it here in the particle pack. In the effects, I have weapon effects. And in the prefabs, I'm going to bring stone impact. Because I'm using universal render pipeline, it's not working properly. So we need to change a few things. For example, for the material, this is the main texture. So uh, stone here, I'm going to change this to universal render pipeline let. And now let's assign the texture to the base map. And let's go for the hit effects for the dust. Here's also we need to change the material. Let's take a look. As you can see, this is the texture. So I am going to change this to universal render pipeline particles and use lit. Now I am going to assign the texture and here let's choose transparent and I'm going to check the alpha clipping. It does look a little bit better. So let's choose the next one for the material. That's it. And let's choose universal render pipeline particles lit and let's assign the texture and maybe put this on transparent and choose the alpha clipping. Now for the next one, I'm going to do the same thing. First, I'm going to identify the texture and put this on universal render pipeline and just lit because it's not on the particles. So let's also assign the texture and choose alpha clipping. It's not exactly perfect, but it will do. So I'm going to copy the dust first. Here is the empty game object that we've created. So I'm going to paste it under this. Let's bring it here. So if I reset everything and if I do this, you see that it needs a little bit of rotation. So we need to rotate it to look up. Let's do something like this. And now let's bring the impact debris. Here it is. I am going to also reset this and let's take a look, rotate this as well to look up. Maybe a scale it down a little bit, 0 0.5, 0 0.5. And for the bullet hole, let's actually just use a quad. So let's go to the 3D quad and let's see what texture this one is using. So that's the texture. Let's drag it on the quad. 
and now let's just put it on transparent so yeah something like this and maybe rotate it 90 degrees and bring it up a little bit maybe 0 0.001 and for the color well this is 0 0.1 0 0.1 and let's just delete that now here is something that looks like an impact effect it's not perfect though so I am going to go to the prefabs and create a folder name it impacts and let's drag this inside impacts and let's delete that inside the projectiles I'm going to attach the stone impact as the default impact so let's play this now if we go and take a few shots you see that it is going to give us the impact effect the bullet is a little bit slow but we're gonna improve it later well actually I'm gonna add the new weapon in the next video we're also going to do some improvements on the whole thing and intentionally I haven't done any networking and probably I'm not gonna do it in the next video because in the next video we are also going to do some optimization but after that we're gonna start the networking because I wanted to create a third person shooter first just in case somebody doesn't want to do the networking and it just wanna create an offline game they can use that and if you wanna create a multiplayer game then in the next videos we're gonna start the networking logic so i hope you enjoyed the video so far make sure to like and subscribe thanks for watching